Hi folks, Fred from Montgomery's Garden, and I'm um, here to talk about greenhouses a little bit. We just put this greenhouse together yesterday, and um, it's got this reinforced uh, webbing in here that uh, help, helps make it a little stronger, but it also serves another purpose. It helps to diffuse the sunlight, because when you first put your plants into the greenhouse, uh, if they're not hardened off properly, uh, the clear ones will burn them right out very quickly. So this works very well with us anyway. And if you use the clear ones without these uh, uh, the webbing in here, then you can put like row covers on, on the inside. If you hang row covers, it'll help diffuse the light, especially if you haven't hardened them off yet. Um, the other good thing about this greenhouse is that it has these vents. There's two vents on this greenhouse. It's got one on each side, and that's good for cross ventilation. Because once it starts getting warm out, which is going to be very soon, um, the plants are just going to roast inside here. So make sure that you know you have some way of ventilating them. It's also great for control when it's cold too, right, hon? Because you have the heat inside, so you don't want to open the whole yes. front door. Yep. The way we tie them down is uh, I use cinder blocks and I tie the rope around and wrap the rope over the top and I use this uh, foam pipe insulation just to uh, keep it from chafing because when it gets windy it shakes and this will just keep it from at certain points where the where the uh, the frame is on the inside it'll keep it from chafing a hole into it um, so I usually put two of them down crisscrossed on either side and that usually does a pretty good job of keeping the wind from taking it um, and uh, so on the inside of the greenhouse here, um, I've got radiators. This radiator right here is connected to a thermostatic switch. And so I just set the temperature to 60 degrees or whatever you want and plug it in. And it pretty much keeps the temperature at night when it's cold at, you know, a, a pretty good, so the fr plants won't freeze. And if it happens to get really cold in the teens, you might want to throw a um, wool blanket over the top with a tarp. But usually the heater and something this small works pretty well. Yep. This is how big, hun? Four uh, by... This is about four by four. Mm -hmm. I guess. Yep. It's a good starter size for those uh, like peppers when you got them going inside a long time. You want to get them out. And then we have another one here, which is bigger. Um, love this one. We got it last year. I love how this one has a vent on top, and also it has a, a zipper door on both sides, so you could just open it up. Fred made uh, some tables here and a two-tier table here, and we put one along the back. And this also has a heater in it. So we're pretty much ready to bring stuff out. And so now we can close this up and uh, I've got a good tip that um, to help keep this thing in good shape. Um, we paid about $129 for this a couple of years ago. And uh, one of the reasons why it's in good shape is because we take good care of it. and. So at the end of the season, when you have all your plants out of it and you want to put it away, open up the doors and just kind of let it all air out and dry out on a good sunny day. And then once it's all dried out, pack it up nice and dry. And um, that'll help keep the moisture out and it won't get moldy and mildewy. And it won't and, get sun rot. And it won't get sun rot. And um, we have other tips as far as uh, keeping it from... Uh, you know, when it rips, you can make repairs and whatnot on it. So we have other tips also. Frequently, the smaller size, um, we had one even smaller than this that we had for five seasons going. I think it was a $30 one, hun, right? Yep. And we used it for five seasons. It got in bad shape, <laughs> very, very bad shape. But we kept um, taping and stitching. And uh, there's clear... Um, what is that tape? It has threads in it. Oh, what is that uh, tape yeah, called? It's just reinforced tape. Yeah, it's a reinforced yeah. tape that you could use on it. So if you get a hole in it, you could just patch it up. Yeah. 
Yeah, we actually have some tape on. Yeah, on, on the back that of that one. one. We, I used a green tape. Yeah. Yep, so just keep taping them up, stitching them up. I'll show you how. It'll be on the uh, on this video in photo form. Um, but take care of your greenhouses in the last few years. And hopefully we're going to have <laughs> a real one built soon. I'll spin you around. See that carport there? We're going to convert that one into a large greenhouse. And we also have another greenhouse. Uh, with plastic panels that we're going to attach to it. Uh, here's one more tip, folks. Um, I built these tables, and these are basically for hardening off or just, you know, keeping the plants outside um, before you plant them. Um, these, this hardware cloth is three feet wide, and I made the frames an extra inch so that they wouldn't be hanging over and catching your jackets or whatever when you're, uh, you know, taking flats on and off. And so I just pulled them all out and pulled them real tight and I used uh, electrical staples to tie every, to uh, tack fasten it. it, tack it all down. So you can, um, you can put braces in between for extra support. How far would you say you have these braces apart? Oh, uh, they're about three feet. Yeah, that worked about, out well. Yeah, about three feet apart. And uh, I put them all up on cinder blocks and it seems to work. This is hemlock. Um, these are uh, two by four hemlock, rough cut. Yeah, that was the best price, was the hemlock. Yeah, and they're pretty sturdy and they do well outdoors. So, And the cinder block, one on the side and one up is the right height. It's quite comfortable Yeah. to work. So, yeah. Okay, so. thank you. Mm -hmm.